Hi Aries, welcome to your September mid-month reading. I am Lorian, your intuitive guidance psychic medium here to give you all the messages that I get for the next two weeks for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. Also, Venus for the love portion. Because we're going to look at family, career, health, finances, whatever information I get, I will relate to you. And at the end of the reading, I'll pull a Romance Angel card and additional advice to help with the most positive outcome. So let me pull these messages. We're starting with the star card. So that's lovely energy. Give me one second. You know, the star card is all about hope. It's about faith. It's about healing. This is about dreams and wishes coming true. Things that you've wanted for your, since you were a child. This is about a destined path after a huge major life transformation coming into you. Something that was actually destined for you. For some of you, this is you being in the spotlight. Okay, in, in the spotlight amongst society. Being a star of fame, so to speak. Now we have the seven of wands. Setting boundaries to protect yourself from others that could harm you. Knowing the difference as you've gone through this healing process of how to set appropriate boundaries for you in all areas of your life. Not allowing people to step through those boundaries, right? Drawing the line, protecting yourself, holding people back. Some of you in the social spotlight, you're being attacked by people. And it looks like you may have an online business. For some of you, it's definitely online. I feel like they're attacking you. We also have the Four of Cups, uh, I mean the Four of Pentacles energy, which is really about you holding on. Holding on, holding back when it comes to whatever the situation is for you. This is not allowing free flowing movement to come into your life or out of your life. I mean, in either which way. The emperor being in control of your life. The emperor is a person who, and this emperor I think has showed up in almost every one of my readings. So really it's about you being in control of how you allow people to come into your life, what you accept in your life, what who you're going to give to because you've learned your lessons, right? So now you've set these boundaries, you know you're in control of your life. Now we are also looking at a person who can be very uh, egotistical, they can be in control of their life, of your life. They can be controlling. Sometimes this energy is um, a person that we're dealing with. It can be an organization that we're dealing with. This can also represent in business, you being in the social spotlight. You could be a politician, an advocate when it comes to government areas. And I am seeing healthcare as well. Healthcare, an advocate, somehow, some way, a spokesperson for a hospital, running a hospital. Yep. Now we have the Nine of Cups. Happiness, joy, feeling like you've just reached your goal, whatever your goal is, because you set boundaries. And you learned how to give and take to the right people. You became in control of your life. So now you're celebrating. You want to celebrate with all the people that you love because you're elated. The star card. Some of you, like I said, this is being in the social spotlight. You finally got it. You learned how to protect yourself from other people. And by doing that, you got, there you go. Page of Swords. This is that communication you were waiting for that's going to lead you to this new career path that you were destined for. You feel it deep within your soul. You know it. You know it's you. You know. We know. 
This is you standing in your own self, being in control of your life. And because you did a great job, boom, your destiny has arrived. Your message, your communication is coming. This is a message, a truth from somebody that you know that you may have needed to set boundaries with in a relationship, whether that be romantic, whether that be a family. Some of you, this is a romantic partner that you're dealing with. They were closed off. They didn't open up. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't say much. They didn't share their feelings. But see, you stood your ground with this person. Whether that be through separation, whether that, that be the two of you living under the same roof and not communicating at all. You stood your ground because they were holding back and now they're going to open up emotionally. They're going to want to... This is joy and celebration. This is you winning. Saying, okay, if you don't open up, then I won't play. And they do. They actually are coming forward to tell you how happy they are with you. Some of you have a child that is having difficulty with uh, perhaps drugs or alcohol. They might just be spending their money partying, going out with friends. Their energy, they look and they feel like they're between the age of 18 and 20 years old. Where they're being a little bit careless in, in the way that they are uh, spending their money. And you may be funding them. You may be funding them in college and boom, here they are already out of money. So it's really important for you to keep this dynamic uh, from happening again, to set boundaries. And we do have the Seven of Wands again. <clears throat> Setting boundaries with this child, letting them know, yeah, you can't go party all the time. You run out of money, you run out of money. See, it's affecting the family dynamic because they're borrowing money. They never seem to have any money. So you need to set your boundaries with this person. And again, for those of you with this partner, it's reiterating setting boundaries yet again. And when you do, you guys are going to really come together. Whether you've been apart and are reuniting, you're going to build this solid foundation. These boundaries have been crossed if they were even actually ever implemented in the beginning but now you've got all your ducks in a row both of you are working together to fix and heal to create beautiful harmony in the family unit in the overall solid foundation kind of like you have an unbreakable trust unbreakable trust you're destined to be with each other and you know it Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. Like I said, you know you're meant to be together. This is, this is your family unit. This is your person. This is apologies. Now, the Two of Pentacles is bouncing back and forth. Like I said, you may not have set boundaries. This could be in your work sector as well. You may not have stood up for your own value and therefore you were lacking in getting money, holding back. But I see big change coming in that's going to lead you to more money when you actually kind of get more in control of what you give to your company. Do not overgive. Set boundaries that show value, that show who you really are. You're the star. You are the star in this scenario. So bouncing back and forth from those of you in a relationship where they were crossing boundaries. Again, you, you may not have had very, uh, you may have allowed them to cross boundaries. And what I'm seeing is a scenario where it's like, you better not do this again. I'm not going to help you again. You better not. I told you last time I wasn't going to help you, but I will this time. But you better not. You see, allowing them to overstep the bounds. 
bouncing back and forth. Do I, don't I, do I, don't I? But you're really, you know, they're going to apologize. You're going to talk. You guys are going to establish a new way of communicating with your child. The one that is being too socially involved. <laughs> Spending a, a, a lot of money. Here's an apology from from the child when when you have this discussion when you have this communication and the message is going to come in they, they, they don't they didn't mean it this is healing a family unit and some of you this is sincere sincere apology for a child that may be exiled out of the family unit something may have taken place where maybe they did cross those boundaries maybe they did affect that foundation but the, the, there's some sense of conversation that leads to I, I, I feel like sighing <sighs> like finally being able to reestablish a new better founded family unit with this uh, individual so we are definitely looking at this, you, in this reading, Aries. We're looking at Aquarius, zodiac signs of uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have all elements, all other energies are on the board. So let me pull a romance card for you guys, because I really feel that there is a, a huge growth process going on in a relationship now again that's on any level mostly within you you've really grown really grown yeah see pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you make sure that you because you've already done your healing you've done your major changes in your life and reestablish these boundaries so hold on and pay attention to the red flags you're going to know who you're dealing with. You're going to know whether you should give to this person or not. You will. Pay attention to the red flags on the truthful communication that's coming in. This message from this person it is going to be honest and it could lead to marriage. This person does see you as their forever, forever happy home, solid relationship person. And it can lead to marriage. So that's really lovely. So right now what I'd like to do is pull in an advice card. This is going to be for each and every one of you. You're going to know how it applies to you in your life. And that is to get the best possible outcome in your situation in your life. For the next two weeks, it's this one. So balance exactly what we're talking about knowing paying attention to the red flags knowing if they're speaking the truth setting those boundaries putting your wall up knowing when to take the wall down when to put it up right we only put it up if somebody's going to come in and hurt us but this is really i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world i do so without judgment being open to this you know this is part of your life. You know this person, this path, this endeavor, whatever you're working on, where you've reestablished the way you view it, the way you view you. It's about you now being in balance and staying in balance as you go through the next two weeks. And it's going to lead to this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Lots of love, lots of security, a brand new job offer, a brand new relationship beginning. So this is lovely energy and I hope you guys have a wonderful next two weeks. Thank you for watching. Much love.